back with a new video as you can see man we got lots and lots and lots of snow right now we snowed in in minnesota man so unfortunately no car views today no driving around the track all today no driving around the hellcat today man it's just one of them kind of snowed in chill kind of days man but what i am going to give y'all today is what the title say and the thumbnail say and i'm letting y'all know what the radar I use. Now, I made one of these videos a while back when I first started my YouTube channel. You can always tell who's a real G Squad member, man. G Squad, what's up with y'all, man? You can always tell who's a real G Squad member, man, because they go back and they binge watch all my older videos. All right, now, for those who ain't been binge watching and new to the channel and just now getting in the loop, first off, you're embarrassing. Appreciate your support. Now, jump in the loop so that way you can know exactly what we got going on here, man. But this is what I use. I use a Max Escort 360. Now, as you can see, Mine's got a few knob marks because, you know, I got a dog, so, you know, he wants to just chew on everything, put a scratch everything, touch everything. Look at my armor. It's a little wet from the snow, man. Big snow outside. But um, this is what I use. Max Escort 360. They got little arrows in the front. Let you know cops are in the, uh, behind you, in front of you, side to side, all that good stuff. And then got, like, a little thing in the back so they can let you know all that good extra stuff. I don't know all the analytics and specs behind it. But good-ass radar, man. Saved me from a bazillion tickets. And now I'm about to get this joint hardwired into one of my other cars. And I just got the cord. So like I said, my dog likes to chew up everything. So I had to go get a new cord, bam, for uh, my radar because he chewed up my cord. And then I got a hardwired cord, bam. So that way it's going to be hardwired to my track hog. So for all those who are out there who told me in my old videos what happened to my radar, where's my radar, and all that good stuff, my dog chewed up the damn cord. Now I had to go get a new one. So... Now I'm about to get this hardwired to my track hawk. I'm going to take it. I don't know how to do it. I might look up some YouTube videos because I still do look at YouTube all the time. I'm subscribed to people as well. But um, I might hardwire it myself or I might um, have, pay somebody to come hardwire it they sell. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But this is going to be hardwired to the track hawk, man. So that way it can stay in this joint forever. And for my Hellcat and all the other whips that I hop in, all I'm going to do is for everybody who knows, you can literally just take this off the windshield, boom, and then, you know, take it from the hardwire one, and then you can stick it on this clamp. Now, this clamp right here, I'm going to let y'all see this real quick. This is a, um, not a clamp, it's a suction cup. So, whenever I want to uh, transfer from my uh, Max Escort 360 from one car to another, I literally, this is it right here. I just literally peel this off, boom, stick it up there, and this little clamp right here holds on to the back of the MOOC like so. Man, let me stick that thing in there. Damn, she got a tight one, boy. No, uh, <laughs> so then they just sit on the windshield like this. I plug in the cord, boom, on the side, and then I'm good to go, man. Then when I, let's say if I get in the Hellcat, you know, this would be in the Hellcat. So next, no, um, let's say I want to bring the, the the radar back into the Trackhawk, the Hellhawk, baby. Then next, no, I take it out of my Hellcat, boom. And then the hardwire cord from this one would already be hanging in the Trackhawk. Boom, and the next thing you know, I just stick this band right in there, put the cord in, boom, and then, I, I mean, I'm good to go. But people ask me all the time, is the Max Escort 360 worth it? Is the radar detector worth it? To me, in my opinion, for a person who drove around my entire life in regular hoopty-ass cars, but always was speeding, yeah, I was that guy, 100% um, because I got a million tickets doing that. But um, to be real, Ever since I've had this Max Escort 360, and uh, it's not just this brand. I'm pretty sure there's other good radars out there as well. But this is the first one that I ever bought in my entire life, and this one does pretty good. Anytime it went off, there was one time it went off, but I didn't know how to read the radar. And the uh, cop pulled me over, and I did get a ticket. That was the only ticket, the first and only ticket I ever got in my Hellcat speeding. Um, so, or in general with my Hellcat. But I didn't know how to read the arrows. I didn't know what green, blue, and uh, red meant. And it was fully red, and I didn't stop. And I was like, where the police? I don't know. Is it a false alert? Boom, police pulled me over. Then I realized red is not a false alert. Sometimes it can be, but most of the time it's not. So uh, the green and blue really is to uh, the fault or more of the false ones. The red one's like almost 100% certain in the cases that I've run across, you know. But um, the people always ask me, um, should they get one? And I do believe you should. I mean, because think about it, really. This Max Escort was $700 when I bought it. Yeah, $700. So this is a, it's a, that's a bag for a radar for me, for a person who's like, whoa, hold on. I ain't never even bought a radar in my life. But I think in the realm, if you're just a speeding individual, you should definitely get one. But if you're in a realm of having fast cars, like even if you're not that person who drives super fast 24 seven, but you have a track hawk, you have a Hellcat, you have a motorcycle, you have like stuff like that, cause you can get that stuff for your motorcycle too. So, I mean, if you're in that realm of people that has these kind of cars and you're super blessed to be in that position, I think these are a great investment because I mean, even if you're good at not getting tickets and you're good at just 
conveying the, you know, the surrounding areas for police, or whatever. I mean, what does it hurt to have this, you know? So, I mean, even if you're good at that, it's still good to know, like, maybe on the time you might be slipping or caught lacking, there might be a cop there, and this might be able to help you that one time. So, if it helps you one time or two, three times from getting a ticket, then you got to think about it. If you get a speeding ticket at the rate I be going, they about two, three hundred uh, dollars per ticket. So, if you get three of those tickets, you got nine hundred dollars right there, easy, in tickets, right? They're saying, talking about you fight the ticket, don't fight the ticket, and all that good stuff. So, if this is seven hundred dollars, you e easily save money in just the ticket game alone, but then you gotta count the car insurance. When you get those three speeding tickets or two speeding tickets or even one speeding ticket, how much is your car insurance gonna go up? You gotta think, good investment, man. $700 for one time payment could save you from thousands of dollars in insurance increase every year. You gotta think about that too, man. I mean, but I just wanted to make this video for y'all, man, real quick, just to let y'all know this is what I do, because I get so many DMs every single day where people ask me, do I have a radar for the ones who just new to the channel but ain't hearing the radar beeps, man, going off in any of my videos like it was in my older videos? So then they ask, why don't you get a radar? You getting this ticket, you getting that ticket. I do have radar. My dog chewed up the damn cord, so I had to get another cord. This is the hardwired one, like I said, the track on. And this is the one that I can switch from car to car to car to car if I choose to do so, man. If I wanted to go from the Honda to the Hillhawk to the Hill Keezy, you know, I can just switch it up, man. Or if I wanted to go to my girl's Jeep or whatever, I can do that, you know. And this is the one that goes with the mobile one. So these pretty much go together with this one. And then this hardwire one will be the Hellhawk, and then literally I just take the suction cup out, boom, slap this one there, boom, and then I'm good to go, man. But I just wanted to make a video for y'all to let y'all know, man, for all the people who are constantly asking me, do I have a radar? And constantly for the people who are asking me, where'd your radar go? Here it goes, man, for the both of y'all, man. This is it, the Max Escort 360. I'm not ever making another video unless I get a new radar talking about like, you know, what new radar I got or any of that stuff. I'm not making another video talking about radars, all right? So for the people out there who've been wanting to know about my radar, I use a Max Escort 360, they should be cutting me a check, man, because I'm putting y'all on, but I'm just being real to my people, G-Squad, this is really a good radar, man. And I, I think it's just a good bang for your buck, and then, it, like I said, it's gonna save you from thousands of dollars in insurance tickets and all that good stuff, man. So, I mean, it's never a bad investment to me. Definitely, if, you, if a person like me, you just speed 24 seven for no damn reason, not even when you're in a rush, it's just, if you're that person, definitely get a radar man but without further ado man this video is over it's a snow day i'm gonna go back in the house chill i'm about to marinate man all right and i'm gonna give y'all this video it's gonna post up in a little bit man it is uh what day is today anyway it's about 4 13 right now so let's see how long it's gonna take me to post this joint it's saturday february 24 4 13 p.m so let's see how long it's gonna take for me to post this video man but like i said without further ado man i will see y'all when we get to the next video man i'm out of here